Do you know that all the ants that you see are female? Wait, like for real, all the ants that you see are female. But wait, then how do they reproduce? Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello. So, we all know what ants are because they are everywhere. You can find them at home, huh, at the void deck, huh, along the drain, huh, inside a bundle of leaves, huh, inside of plants, huh, in the forest and even on my food. No! Well, based on the latest study published in December 2022, scientists have estimated that there are at least 20 quadrillion ants on this earth. And I never knew I ever had to use that number, but 20 quadrillion means that for every one person on earth, there is about 2.5 million ants as an equivalent. And this makes them as one of the animals with the largest population. But like I told you, almost all the ants that you see are female. And that's because ants are and also bees and wasps go through a sex determination system called haplodiplody. That's like such a fun word to say, ho. Huh? Okay, so in school, we were taught that humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, right? And the number of pairs would, you know, differ from animal to animal. But in general, animals have their chromosomes in pairs. Okay, but no, 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 no. The ants and the bees, they want to be special and unique. So they don't follow this rule. So usually an egg needs to be fertilized, right, in order for a baby to, you know, come out. And fertilization means, you know, the sperm and the egg would join together. But in haplodiplody, if the egg is unfertilized, it can still hatch. Just that a male will come out with half the genes. So this means that in haplodiplody, if the egg is fertilized, it will always be a female. And if the egg is unfertilized, it will always be a male and their genes won't be in pairs. It's just that single set of genes. So these males are also called drones and with half of the genes, they can't really do much and their sole purpose is to, you know, really just to mate and then just die. Which is such a cool cycle, don't you think? You've got like unfertilized eggs and then males will hatch out from it then they can go and fertilize the other eggs to produce females and the whole cycle can continue and continue and continue and wait, 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 wait. Isn't that like inbreeding? Okay, don't worry. Ants also know that inbreeding is not a good thing and so males won't mate within the colony. Okay, so let me break this down for you in a simplified version, right? Because first things first, most of the queen's daughters are not able to reproduce and that's the main bulk of the ants that you see, right? Your soldier ants and your worker ants. And these ladies are in charge of gathering food and tending to the eggs and larvae and to protect the whole colony. So within these eggs, you know, naturally you will have some of your unfertilized male drone ants which, you know, will develop wings. But you will also have some baby princess ants which will actually grow into future queen ants and they will also develop wings. And so what happened is, the drones and the princess ants will actually stay inside the nest until the time is right, you know, with the right environmental cues. And then when it's mating season, all of the drones and all of the princess ants from all of the colonies will start coming out of the nest together and fly all around, and they will mate with each other from all the different colonies. And once the deed is done, sadly the drone ants will die oh. because they've served their purpose as a uh, flying sperm. But the princess ants, they will actually go and find a new nest where they will become a new queen ant. And the cool thing is, these new queens would have stored a lot of sperm inside of her and they would actually use that same batch of sperm to produce all of the eggs that they will produce in their lifetime. And from there, the cycle continues. Well, I mean, so the whole point of today's video is really just to wreck your brains out a little bit, huh? Because if you think about it, male ants will never have fathers, but male ants will also never have sons. So it's like, uh, uh, how does it work? I don't get it, I don't get it. Well, now I hope you get it because that's the whole point of today's video, right? I hope you learned something new. 
And yeah, you know, like I mentioned, a small little text in the video, Singapore has the highest diversity of ants in the world. And I think it's just important to learn about all of these animals that are living all around us. And I mean it, they are all around us. And I know it's a lot to take in, so this marks the end of today's video. But again, before we go, we would like to give a big shout out to our patrons. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, Sportman, you know, no, 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 English, Hedja, Queen, Limbert, Muffin, Nana, Nasa, Lemak, Jerry, Jet, Kappa, A, A, 5, King, Ho, Master, Jab, Block, Tango, Amal, Delo, Neko, Samma, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Justin, Leyland, Uncle Kiong, Cookie, Spider, Lowy, Lai, Big Three, Circles, Amy, Amy, Stacey, and Lul! Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly, and if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on all my other social media platforms, and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching, and remember, keep your eyes peeled because all those ants will steal your food, so you better make sure that those ants don't take your food from you because I'm very hungry and my whole food was all just covered in ants, I can't eat them anymore! Bye-bye!